Hi there, Will here. And a few years ago, Serena, my girlfriend's friend, said that her mom had a Mamiya camera that I should take a look at sometime. And uh, the time has finally come, and I'm going to show you and her how to use this thing. So inside this lovely orange pelican case is a Mamiya 645 Pro TL with a film winder, film back, 80mm, 120mm, 150mm, Polaroid back, Zirconic L308B meter and a viewfinder. So I guess the first thing we'll do is chuck some batteries in it and see that things work. The first thing I'm going to put batteries in is the uh, motor winder and we're going to see if that works. It takes six AA batteries so I've got 12 here just in case. And that's how you put the batteries in. <laughs> I'm learning so much. <laughs> oh! There's already a battery in there. <laughs> that's not particularly good, because that uh, probably means... Well, it could have corroded. It doesn't look corroded. I guess we'll just check the battery with the battery check then. Red light! So this battery is uh, still functional. Do you know when your mom put this camera away? <laughs> 10 years ago. 10 years worth of battery. So this is the body of the camera. This is the film back. The camera body has a little latch thing here. You line that latch up with this steel tab at the bottom of the film back, plonk that in like that, and then just click on. This is the viewfinder. The viewfinder also has two little pins that stick out from the front that line up with little pins there. You just line those two up and click it in. And then the lens, there's a little switch on the back here. You pull that back and you line this red dot up with that red dot, like so. Voila! Voila. Now you've got a camera. We should try see if we can put the motor winder on as well. This way? Yep. Which, to get that on, you push this little tab forward and turn that, and this pops off. And then you pull that, you push in the blue button there, pull that up, plonk it on, and you've got a functional camera. Ta-da! There's a spider on my ankle. To open it, you push that in and pull that down, and the back should pop open. Gotcha. You squeeze these two things together. And that comes out, which is the actual cartridge thing. This, you move to this side, the bottom side, because the film is going to wind onto this little spool, which is actually the leftover spool from the last roll that was in it. Hold there for me. And then, you put this spool, you see that it's got like a little T-shaped yeah. thing on there? You line that up like that and plonk that in there and then pull it around the back to line up with the hole in there and then advance that so that it takes and then you're going to see over there it says start and on the film itself there will be an arrow a start line you line up that arrow with the start and you're good to go this thing is an autofocus so you do have to manually focus it still but that's nice and smooth She's all yours. Oh, right, the last thing, that's the dark slide. Yep. You need to take that out to be able to take a picture. Mm -hmm. And then it slots in the back over here. Okay, cool. Don't drop it.
Okay, and then the final bit, now that we've finished the roll, is uh, taking the film out. And to do that, you pull that down and push that in, like that. Same process as before. Clip that little thing open. Clip it back closed. Plonk this back in the back. And you're ready for another roll. How do you do? Stay